In the long run, every dollar spent is an opportunity cost. All inputs are variable. The firm has complete flexibility in how it implements new technologies to generate output. L and K solve the cost minimization problem given input prices and the desired level of output. In the short run, the firm is stuck with its bricks and mortar investments with specially designed machinery. Given K bar, the firm chooses the minimum level of L needed to produce Q. Short run costs will only equal long run costs when the short run level of capital happens to be equal to the level the firm would have chosen in the long run to produce that level of output, Q sub I. At every other level of output, total costs in the short run exceed long run costs. Hence, short run average total cost will exceed long run average cost. We say that long run average cost forms an envelope for all the short run average total cost curves. The trick to depicting this reality in a diagram is to keep in mind the relationships that must prevail among the various cost curves. Suppose the firm builds a plant with capacity K sub A in the range of constant returns to scale, that is, chosen optimally to produce Q sub A. Since the slope of long run average cost is zero at the resulting level of output, short run average cost will be minimized at that point. Hence, short run marginal cost crosses short run average cost there and all four, four cost curves intersect at Q sub A. If the firm builds a plant with capacity K sub B in the range of economies of scale, then the slope of long run average cost is negative. Short run average cost is tangent to long run average cost at Q sub B, which means that the minimum point on the short run average cost curve must be to the right of Q sub B. Take care to draw the two marginal cost curves so that long run marginal cost equals short run marginal cost at Q sub B. What happens if the firm produces in the zone of diseconomies of scale using capital optimally chosen to produce Q sub C? Stop the video and draw the appropriate diagram with all the relevant labels. Then hit resume. Have you chosen your point so that it is clear that minimum short run average cost is to the left of Q sub C with short run marginal costs going through that minimum? Are short run marginal cost and long run marginal cost equal at Q sub C? In my diagram, that intersection would occur off the sheet of paper. Bottom line, this is one case where care in constructing the diagram separates the real economist from the confused student. The economist understands how long run average cost creates an envelope for all the short run average total cost curves.